Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. The first augmented reality game for DJI drone users intro. First FAI drone event organizer meeting house. FAA says drones safer than thought. Brie Cross, welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 195,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. EGBs has launched a new augmented reality mobile application that is compatible with DJI Phantom 3. Phantom 4, and the Mavic Pro. The app was developed using DJI Software Development Kit. The game is centered on flying the drone through a virtual obstacle course while collecting prizes and avoiding obstacles along the way. Drone pilots can compete over the best performance, points, and times for a coveted place in the high score leaderboard with other drone pilots around the world. Key features of the Drone Pre app include solo and competition modes, race against the clock to beat your previous score, or compete with other users around the world to make it onto the leaderboard. Flight assistant, track guiding will assist the pilot in the 3D space while they navigate around obstacles to collect coins and prizes. Multiple courses, featuring over 30 different obstacle courses with varying difficulties suitable for novice to experienced pilots. Social engagement, pilots can link their user ID to their Facebook account and share their achievements with top performing pilots appearing on the leaderboard. The Drone Pre is a mobile app that can be downloaded to the user's smartphone. The Drone Pre app is now available for download on the App Store and Play Store. In the next Drone Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. Bard College has released a report surveying 30 instances where a drone was involved in a legal incident. The study examined six categories, invasion of property, drone use, smuggling, encounters with manned aircraft, crashes, and shootdowns, with a wide variety of outcomes, using a wide variety of rules and infractions, not all drone specific. The study found that there appeared to be little consistency in how and by whom drone infractions are prosecuted. Here we go again. What was supposed to have been a sunset flight over Oliver Springs, Tennessee, ended with a badly damaged DJI Inspire II crashing to the ground. The aircraft belonged to Brad Jones, who was flying his aircraft near his home, when he heard a gunshot. At least two shots were fired, with the second hitting the drone. The shooter has yet to be identified. And on the other hand, sometimes a few drone pilots are their own worst enemies. Two men have been arrested in South Carolina for attempting to smuggle contraband into a medium security prison using a drone. The two faced multiple charges and were found in possession of a drone, marijuana, knives, and cell phones. They have been charged with attempting to provide contraband to inmates and drug possession. Following reports of ISIS weaponizing small UAVs, DJI has reportedly geofenced much of Syria and Iraq. The area is now identified via software as a no-fly zone. Last fall, DJI issued a statement saying it was prepared to, quote, provide whatever technical assistance we can to help prevent the use of its aircraft as instruments of war. Obviously, they meant it. That was our Drone Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. The first FAI Drone Events Organizer Meeting was held on the 29th and 30th of April 2017 at the Maison de Sport Internationale in Switzerland. Representatives from FAI gathered with experts and organizers from around the world to exchange experiences from the recent past years and to discuss upcoming drone racing events in 2017-2018 and plans beyond on a global level. Topics on the agenda saw a report from the FAI on its role and involvement in international developments on drone-related innovation, safety, and sports. The FAI Aero Modeling Commission presented the status of the rulemaking process, the success of the FAI World Cup events 2016, and plans for 2017. 
Organizers of these FAI World Cup events, as well as FPV racing organizations such as MultiGP from the USA and the European Rotor Sports Association contributed by showcasing their approach to the sport, Freedom Drone Sports from Australia presented the new segment of large drones, Freedom 500 and Freedom Class. In addition, the concept for the first FAI World Drone Racing Championship 2017-2018 was presented to the participants. The exchange of experiences and projects on this global level were seen to be a very important step to further develop drone sports on a global level. For those fighting off fears about drone safety, here comes a bit of compelling info. Studies by a consortium of leading universities are seeking to better understand the risk of allowing UAS to fly over people. The final report opines that the injury potential of a drone impact at the same mass and impact energy are dramatically different. The research team reviewed techniques used to assess blunt force trauma, penetration injuries, and lacerations, the most significant threats to people on the ground. The team classified collision severity by identifying hazardous drone features, such as unprotected rotors. Research showed multi-rotor drones fall more slowly than the same mass of metal due to higher drag on the drone. Unlike most drones, wood and metal debris do not deform and transfer most of their energy to whatever they hit. Also, the lithium batteries that power many small drones need a unique standard to ensure safety. The team recommended continued research to refine the metrics developed and suggested developing a simplified test method to characterize potential injury and validating a proposed standard and models using potential injury severity test data. The second phase of the Alliance for System Safety of UAS through Research Excellence Research is set to begin in June 2017 and will examine the risk of collision with aircraft. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. We'll see you next week.